Now those who have been following us were still talking about the eschatology at the end of the times. Last time we finished the message about the rapture of the church. But we began another prolonging of it talking of what will be happening on earth. We saw how the church will be raptured. We saw how Jesus will come through the clouds, through the air, through the second heaven, through the third heaven, and then to the judgment seat of Christ. We saw what will happen at the judgment seat of Christ. Then we ended up into the marriage of the Lamb. And so when the marriage of the Lamb took place, that will be the complete of a completion of our salvation. And so we shall be with the Lord forever. In the last part of the seven years, we saw that we shall be doing literally nothing but worshiping the Lord. We are given white garments. We, we will be given white garments and trumpets in our hands to worship the Lord forever. And we saw there is no night there nor death there. There is no sun, there is no moon. Jesus and God are the light of of, of, of the tabernacle of God. Now two weeks ago we began to see as the church is in heaven worshiping God what will be on earth. We saw last Sunday and the other Sunday that as the church is ruptured and taken to the heavens and we go into the Father's house on earth there will be another thing taking place. The Bible is very clear and the scripture are very rich in telling us what will be happening on earth while the church is still in heaven. Remember the rapture of the church is not the end of the world. It is merely the beginning of the end times. So here on earth we saw so last Sunday in detail that the second most powerful and influential man ever appeared on the face of the earth other than Jesus Christ will be in control of the universe. This man will be the most influential will be the most powerful man outside from Jesus. Of course, Jesus is the greatest man of all time. We also saw as we go to learn the new things today that during the moving of the earth we have been having two lineages of people. The lineage of Cain and the lineage of Abel. They have been moving right from Genesis parallel. They have never met each other. And this started by the proclamation of God himself. The seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman. Fortunately, as we went through the pages of the Bible, we see the seed of the woman going over all the way unto Joseph and Mary who culminated into the birth of Jesus Christ. In other words, the seed of the woman already produced its superstar 2,000 years ago. Unfortunately, the seed of the serpent through Cain and Esau and Edom and Judas Iscariot has never produced its superstar. And that superstar cannot appear on the face of the earth until Jesus takes away his wife from the earth. Because this superstar from the lineage of the serpent will be contrary to what 
God is doing. So the rapture of the church will produce this man. The Bible says his iniquity is moving on but the man is not yet revealed because someone is hindering him from appearing. So when Jesus Christ takes away his church and the Holy Spirit that came on the day of Pentecost then the superstar from the lineage of the serpent and Cain will be revealed. Let me share with you a powerful scripture Jesus shared with us 2,000 years ago. In John chapter 5 and verse 43 Jesus said these words. John 5 and verse 43 He said, I'm come in my father's name and you receive me not. If another man shall come in his own name him you will receive. So Jesus was trying to tell us that is there is another man apart from him who will come he will not come in the name of God he will not come in the name of righteousness he will not come in the name of saving the world he will come in his own name unfortunately Jesus said Yes, you are For me, Tinze. I came in my father's name. And you rejected me. Ne you refused me. Ne you never re received me. Ne Israel, Na ye Israel did not receive the Messiah. Because they never expected him to be born in a manger. They thought he was a man come with white garments and crowns on the head. Ne and a great army and deliver the people of Israel. But here a man comes, he's born in a manger. He grows like a little boy. He preached a normal gospel. He sleeps hungry. One day he said that foxes have holes holes and birds have got nests but me the son of man I have nowhere to put my head so Israel rejected the man who came in his father's name but he prophesied over them he said another shall come in his own name and you shall receive him. So this man will be revealed after Jesus had taken away the church. In the, in, in the previous Sundays, we saw that this man is called a number of names. And I gave you all the scriptures. He is called the Antichrist. He is called the son of perdition. He is called the man of sin. He is called triple six. He is called the beast. He is called the abomination of desolation. He has very many names. Because he is copying the very many names Jesus has. This man is a copy copy. He want to co call himself what Jesus is calling himself. As Jesus has got very names. Very many. He's the son of God. He's the son of man. He's the one of God. He's the light of the world. He's the good shepherd. He's the alpha. He's the omega. He's the prince of peace. He's the way. He's the, way. He's the truth. He's the life. He's the resurrection. He has names everywhere. My son Larry gives the name of Jesus Christ from Genesis to Revelation. So even this man called the Antichrist is calling himself very, very many names. He will appear.
appear. He will come in his own name. He is not coming in the name of God. But this man cannot appear until the church is ruptured from the earth. Let me once again boldly say the church will not go through the great tribulation as some people teach. The church will not go through the tribulation. There is no scripture supporting that. Actually, it is the church prohibiting this man from appearing on the scene of the world. The church and the Holy Spirit. The moment the church is ruptured, then this man will come in his own name and then he will begin what we call the seven year great tribulation. We have seen a number of things about this man. Today we are going to learn more about him. The previous lesson we learned about his personality. And the Bible says he will be the second greatest man and genius person to appear on the face of the earth. Apart from Jesus that is personality. We saw that he will be a different Man. He will be so different from others to the extent that people will say who is like unto the beast. He will do marvelous things different from other people that everybody on the earth will wonder. We don't think there is any person who is like unto him. That's why we say it's the second powerful man to appear on the face of the earth. Then we all saw that this man will be very intelligent. He will possess an amazingly high degree of understanding and intelligence. We saw that in Daniel chapter number 7 and verse 8. Today, we want to talk about other qualities about this man. He will be a great orator. Great speaker. He will be a very great speaker. Great orator. The Antichrist, when you read Daniel chapter 7 and verse number 8, he will be a great orator. I considered the horn, and behold, there came up another among them, another little horn, before whom there were there three of the first horns plucked up by the roots, and behold, in his snow. In this horn were eyes like eyes of a man and a mouth speaking great things. A man and 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 a mouth speaking great things. He will be a very great speaker. We have speaker in the world today. We have TDJ. He can speak seven minutes without breaking a single word. T.D. Jakes holds a microphone T.D. Jakes and speaks literally for seven minutes without disconnecting a word. He's a great speaker. We have many great speakers in the world today. But this man will be a great orator because he will be having a mouth speaking great things. I remember when Pastor Kayanja Freddy was going to was, was be throating Harriet. He was a very great speaker. He promised heaven and earth. He even promised a helicopter to Harriet. He even promised a bus to Harriet. The things he has never received up to today. How many years in marriage? 20 years she has never received a helicopter 20 years she has never received her bus Pastor Fred Kanya spoke 
heaven and the earth. I think I was even about to speak about hell. <laughs> but he just forgave hell to speak about it. <laughs> Whatever I did not speak, it was not there. Until the woman was convinced <laughs> by the speech of this young man. <laughs> and I think Harriet is still waiting for his bus. <laughs> which I don't think will ever come. <laughs> it may anyway. <laughs> And the helicopter, but where will pack the helicopter? Your compound is very small. Sometimes women are amazing. They, be, they believe nonsense. Women believe nonsense. My interpreter believed that Fred Kayanja would buy her a helicopter and a bus. I don't know what the bus will be taking. And I don't know where I will be getting the fuel to fuel the helicopter. But the woman believed. And 20 years later, she is still the wife with, with four great teenagers. So, to talk to them, are you still waiting for the helicopter or you gave up? I'm a footer. Today, this man will be a great orator. The Bible says he was given a mouth speaking great things. So the Antichrist is not a mere person as people think. The beast is not a mere man. We saw even last Sunday that he was given a wound of death and died and came back to life. The reason why these things will happen is because they are part of the plan of God. You cannot pray and change it. You cannot pray and stop it. Time to give. We give online. The numbers are 0708 087 0876 Double zero four. Zero zero. Yeah. Please go ahead and give. I hear the money Nabanja sent to the recipients. They received it. So even the money you shall send for this church, we shall receive it. So just send your offering. It will not disappear in the cloud. Please support your church. Though it is physically shut down to the congregation, but the financial bills remain. Salaries for the workers, running offices, paying bills, stationery, data. Remember, also now have a 12% on data. We have the government imposed 12% tax. Uh, Government ya tekawi mesolo ya kuminabili kubulichu. Have to pay electricity. Running water. Amazi. We are also feeding the people. Tulisa na abantu. And so God is a good God. Katika tonda wa femoro. Father bless every gift. Stange wa mkisaburi ya wai. Prosper your children. Kulakula nyabana wu. As they give. Baba wai. Every tither. Buli aweche kumi. Open the windows of heaven. Buli aweche na madisa gegu. To every offering giver. Eri buli awai chuwe wai. Press it, shake it and make it run over. Chisuku ndo chika tilo chifule cha ambu yiku. That men will bring to our bosoms. Abantu wale itembi fuwa. In the name of Jesus, we love you, Lord. We love you, Father. Bless your people. Keep them safe from coronavirus. Lord, protect them. I pray that your divine security will be upon their lives and their children. In the name of Jesus, Father, raise us up out of dust, out of hunger, out of financial. Scarcity. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. We love you. We are praying for you. And we believe in you. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.